Hey guys, we're out here in the workshop with the latest DIY project, which is a wooden spoon guitar or diddly bow effectively. But here you see, so this just went together in, I don't know, a matter of minutes. Um, my wife was throwing this spoon away. It's just a wooden spoon. It actually um, had a little ladle pourer here, however you say that, for just spooning stuff up. And she decided she didn't like it. And so she tossed it. And I was like, wait a minute. And I grabbed it. I said, I might be able to make something out of that. And so literally I came out here, just notched the notched it out right there to put a tuner through. You can see, pretty, pretty low tech, but notched that out with a saw, drilled a hole there, had to countersink that in because uh, the spoon actually inside gets thicker as it gets towards the middle. So I kind of had to do some funky countersinking in there, but I managed to squeeze a jack in there. It's got a piezo right about here. Then this was a cigar box that I just cut yeah, I traced the shape because you can see it's not symmetrical. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's not symmetrical because I had that little ladle part. So I traced the shape on there and just cut it out of a cigar box lid and glued it straight on there. Got a bolt for the bridge. This is a picture hanger that I had laying around for the back. And then this is a, um, oh, I think this is a D G string, G string off a guitar set. I don't know. It was a string I had laying around. I don't even know, but, uh, shut, cut that on there. And, uh, there you go. Instant uh, spoon diddly bow. Well, you probably can't hear that too well because it's not very resonant because of the fact that this is uh, uh, so small and the, the lid is relatively thick compared to the, the size of that. So we don't get a whole lot of resonance out of it, but that's why I put the jack in here. So we happen to have, because I'm in the workshop, we got the cigar box amp here and we got a cable. Let's see if we can make this work. By the way, I did my little trick. I've talked about this in previous videos, but my trick when you're just trying to mark some frets out, just find the harmonics. Done. You've got your first three right there. So uh, I did that. Hey, look at that. Um, and I don't have a slide out here. Uh, got a pick. Oh, here. I've got a socket. We'll use a socket. Hey, listen to that. Now, this thing might be kind of hard to hold. I'm not sure how I'm going to hold it yet. That might be a, a new thing. I might need to... Okay, so it's not an easy instrument to play. It seems like the best way to play it, honestly, is to you kind of just grab it here and pluck it with your thumb because that way you can hold on to it. And I found it easiest if I just kind of nestle it in here, like right against my, my rib gauge here, um, because you don't really have anything to set it on. But, you know, if you just do that, you can kind of... Oops, try that again. You know, you can just kind of pluck out any sort of diddly bow kind of tune on it. Um, you know, nothing special. But hey, since this is a DIY video and we just made a dang spoon, I mean, let's do something fun. So I got the tiny jar of fuzz out here along with a little uh, cable. So let's plug in. So I'll plug the diddly bow into the jar of fuzz. The spoon, I guess we'll call it. The diddly spoon. Let's call it the diddly spoon. That's awesome. All right, the diddly spoon. And then we'll plug that into the uh, amp here. Hello, hello. So it kind of acts as a microphone too. Look at that. Yeah, we got fuzz on a spoon. I mean, it's a spoon, dude. What do you expect? Anyway, you got a spoon. I'm going to unplug that so we don't get the feedback. But you got a spoon laying around. You're going to throw it away. Why not make an instrument out of it? I mean, you know, why not? Hey, that's the thing. Quarantine leads to uh, strange experiments and all that stuff. So, hey, it's the uh, diddly spoon.